Hello, old gold tech fans, and today you find us here in the new multi million pound installation, which is the new old gold tech uh, studio, and it comes complete with uh, iPads that make us look like really good. professional. Yeah, really professional, really cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you join us in the new studio and it has been a long time, but we have been doing things in that time. Uh, I, for instance, uh, my back blew out uh, yep. uh, vertebra, L, vertebra L3, which is towards the back and bottom here. Sounds pretty nasty, Neil actually. was blinded over Christmas. I was indeed, yeah. I had a bit of an accident, um, yep. cage fighting, uh, as I do on my pastime. Yep, because, uh, yeah. Neil had one eye out of action, which was, uh, meant that he couldn't do certain things. Exactly, and we couldn't do the Christmas show that we uh, really wanted to do uh, around Christmas time. But this... Is the late late Christmas show. This is the late late almost summer getting hotter Christmas show. Really getting hot. Though. Almost irrelevant. If yeah. you were to th it is actually a waste of time. You're wasting your time watching this. So why will we bother doing it then? No, we'll just You're we'll just wasting your time. Just switch off now. Um so today what are we gonna be doing? We are going to be playing homage to our wonderful friends uh, of All Gold Tech. We've, uh, we've had many followers over the, over the last 12 months, tweeters, Facebook fans, and everybody. And we wanted to say thank you to you guys. And we did pose a couple of questions around Christmas to ask which were your favorite top five gadgets that you got. And we're gonna come on to those a little bit later. I have something to talk about. Yeah. We it? are, we were, we were. As far as I'm aware, the first retro tech show. We were. Now, this is a bit of a problem to me because uh, we spend a lot of time putting this together and uh, we've, uh, we spend a lot of time trying to get our, our facts right and everything. And now, certain other companies, organisations that shall mm. sort of remain nameless, have decided to jump on the retro bandwagon yes. and uh, try and produce a show similar to this. Yeah, they, some of these shows take presenters that know about one thing and then put them in front of the camera talking about something they don't necessarily know about. You know, I mean, they have all different types of gear that, 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 that we don't have, but you know, you're right, absolutely. Why Hammond organs. Do? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Uh, you're talking about hamsters, all kinds about of things. gear. Yeah. And yeah, they, they do it and then they go on iTunes and people download this and they, 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 they review it badly, which is good for us. Yeah, no, we have very good reviews. Which is good for us. And there's, there's other imposters as well, because once one does it, everyone does it. Um, That's right. And, uh, yeah. You know, they, um, they... Well, there's five use, channels, isn't there? There's, there's, there's five, so many to choose from. Yeah, right? There's five and channels in this country. Yeah. The normal channels. Yeah, and they, and they talk about gadgets and on quite one a lot. Of those, there's a gadget, there's a program that talks about gadgets. Yeah, and exactly. On, yeah. And on that show, they, 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 they talk about what we do. What, 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 yeah. Yeah, they're trying to basically jump on the, the retro bandwagon. And we know retro is big, because if it wasn't, we wouldn't have a great following and wouldn't have people like yourselves keep tuning in to the show. Yes. So... And our viewing figures are going up all the time. Yeah, now we're now on four, which is really good. No, so thank we you do much. have tweet. We do have about five hundred, yeah. almost five hundred, five hundred dedicated tweeters now, which um, is absolutely phenomenal. And we do get a lot of follow Fridays, and we do get a lot of respect from you, George. And, uh, thank you very much. Exactly. We're going to mention you in a minute. Yeah. All so we um we do yeah. So ah, bringing me on to that. We do need you to do us a favour. Now I ask about this quite a lot, and uh, it's free, and it literally takes two two minutes around. So you get the page, yeah. and you bring the old oh, gold tech feed, then you type in the review. I need you to write reviews for the show. So all yes. you need to do is go in there and write. This is Ace five star. Mm -hmm. Five stars. Only yeah. F yeah, five, and then you need to write in there what you like about it, and then hopefully we can raise the profile of the show a little bit. Yes. Above the imposters, you see. Yeah. Because then we would be an independent hit. Because they're getting a lot of really good reviews just because of who they are. No, one heritage. of them isn't. Okay. Well, one one of, them. of them isn't. No, one of them. You know who you are. But, uh, yeah, we'd definitely like you to review our show, particularly on iTunes, because it, it does mean a lot. And also on YouTube, because we do have a YouTube feed now. And I know people have subscribed to the feed and so on. So keep subscribing to that and, and keep following us as well. So, well, there's some more business around that, actually. Yes, okay. If you're going to leave a review, this is very important. I don't want you to leave this sort of thing, which I've got here. I'll read this to you. Yes. I'll we'll flash it up, actually, as well. I'll leave the, the name the anonymous, of course, to yes. not cause embarrassment on you. A great show with very professional production values. If you love the Hall of Fame in the another show, you'll love our Gold Tech show. It's nothing short of retro gadget porn. It will have that 
old tech nostalgia flooding back. Sadly, neither one of the presenters are as sexy as another presenter on a Channel 5. Uh, but you can't have everything. Download it now. So on one hand, it's literally saying it's a very good show. It's all it's better than some of the shows. Absolutely. But we're not as good looking as other presenters. Now I, I don't know how to take that to be honest. I just take it on face value, really. We did lose at least twenty-two stone each to come on. And <laughs> we did. We were we were huge before we started this show, and, yeah. and we're trying our best to to look as as lean and mean as possible. But you know. The next few facials shows that are coming up. Well, facials, absolutely, yeah. We before both, we come on. We both, both had chemical peels before we started the show so, today. So, enough of that. But if you're going to leave one, leave a good one, leave a positive one. Yeah. Say what you want, actually. We're not saying not that wasn't positive. No. That was very positive. That was very positive. Uh, and we don't take offence at anybody saying that just we're not good looking. Just don't rip the way people. we look. And welcome back to the second half, or second part of the irrelevant Christmas show that was Christmas not. show that wasn't happened that didn't happen because Neil was cage fighting, which is a really stupid thing to be doing around Christmas anyway. Though I won't be doing that again. I can tell you, you've no. got to stop doing that. Um, but now it's time to say thanks to some of our top tweeters and friends, mm -hmm. geezers, compadres, brothers and sisters in the digital world, omnipotent gases that tweet in, uh, and it's time to do that now. And we did pose a question before yes. Christmas, which was, "Tell us your favourite piece of gadgetry." that has now become retro uh, that you got for Christmas. And um, we got quite a few people sending us in, so I'll just take a snippet of those. Starting off with The Social Gamer. George! Yes, George remembered getting an Atari 2600 that Santa had planted under his tree. The Atari 2600. Well, we've already covered that thing. We already yes. know how good that is, but George particularly uh, loved that thing, and it was, what did he say? It was under the tree? Yep. It was under the tree. George took a risk in opening that box. He did. It could be anything. A piece that, of coal. That, that, that made George who he was. Because if he hadn't have opened that... It could have been anything. It could have been anything. It could have been a viper or a bear. In that Orange. case, he might have done something else with his Apple. life. But what he's done there is he's taken that experience of opening that box, discovering the Atari 2600. It could have got stolen. And he wouldn't ever... But th what's happened is he's, he's opened that and it's made him who he is now. The Social Gamer. The Social Gamer George. And The Social Gamer has his own live show now. He does. He has his own website, which is here. And he has a live show that I think is every month on Justin... Or every week, sorry, on Justin TV. The link will be here. Come and check him out. He's a great guy. And thanks for following us, George, yeah. right from the beginning. Okay. Second one we got was from Simple T, who uh, him and his brother got a Sega Master System for Christmas. There must have been some fights there. there because there's been. two things to think about with this tweet. One... The Master System uh, was a good little console. It came yes. with a built-in game. Alex the Kid, a small boy punching, had a massive fist. <laughs> what were people on back then? I have no Couldn't idea. get away with that now. No. But if you only had one pad. Yes. Whew. Wow, I know that. That's been, oh, you had two pads. The simple T, so you and your brother could play. Um, Deck H McClelland. Uh, and he's a retro tech guy as well. Oh, he does lots of videos in the industry. I'll we'll put a link to his site here. He got a Texas Instruments Speak and Spell. Wasn't around. A little bit too retro for you, but a Speak and Spell was a training and educational guide for children that spoke a word and then you had to have a few attempts to try and spell, uh, which was really cool. I didn't have one, but a few friends did. Uh, they used to bring them in at Toy Day. I'm really glad I school. didn't have one of those. Why? I'm because, really glad I did. Because it'd be really annoying. It just sounds boring. It was, it was cool for 10, 15 now, minutes. Now, that sounds like I was being rude there. I wasn't being rude. But now, when you pitch that idea, mm. I just think... But back then, kids didn't have a, a, a talking computer that helped them learn to spell. But I used to try and spell rude words on it. Bam! Like bum bum. Bottom. Bum bum. Boobies. Okay. Uh, you want to hear what kids say now? It would be full of effing and jeffing. You wouldn't be able to have it. It would blow up. I don't want to say <laughs> these things. Stop making me say these things. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Uh, oh, who's next? That would be awful. Vintage 8-bit. Now, the best Christmas present he got was a set of peripherals for his ZX81. A RAM pack, whatever that was. That guy knew what he wanted. Mm -hmm. That Christmas and came keyboard. round. He wrote that letter to Santa. I think, dear Santa, I'd like a 16K RAM pack and an add-on full-size keyboard <laughs> for my ZX81. Santa looked at him and went, what? 
You what? You did, yeah. Apparently you had to solder this yourself. Not very good, not very good. But anyway, good luck I think that's that brilliant. One. I think that's brilliant. Making kids work for their... Uh, well, the fact that, their... you know, he, he obviously wanted it and he, he knew the risks involved. Because you could have broke it. Oh yeah, it's, it's done. That's it. Game over. Game over. Or uh, all games over. Uh, Minty Pocket. Uh, you got a light bright, and what's what's one of those? Oh, as a light kid? bright was brilliant. Yeah, and it's only through doing a few takes with this now that I've fully remembered what a light bright was. And that's not through using the internet; it's from memory. The light bright was like a, a uh, it was almost as big as this. I can remember it might have been bigger. I don't know. Before someone emails in, like they usually do, and has a go at us about it being factually incorrect. I'm not going to mention who that is, but we get one every week. Um, <coughs> <coughs> But, um, yeah, it was like a grid with divots out of it. Like, it was like, ah, it was like right. it was a black grid with divots in it. Like, loads and, like, hundreds of little indents in it. And you ran across it with, like, certain different tools. Like, there was, like, uh, a scribe. There was, like, a, a pastry ah. cutter thing with, like, a wheel with nubbles in it. And you went across it and you could... It was all black, but until you pushed these gadgets, these little tools along inside the indentations, lights came up. Ooh. So you'd make like a really pretty picture, like when you get uh, crayons with a white piece of paper, you cover it in colour, then cover it in black crayon, then you scratch out underneath. So like electronic etch-a-sketch really? Yeah, like but, that, but, but with, but with way, nice colours. Way more nice to look at. Ah, well, thank you Minty Pocket for that. Um, Mubit, no, Mubit got a Sega Mega Drive with a Sonic 1. Now I remember Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic Classic. 1. Sonic was one of those games where you first saw it and just went, oh. But he got it for his Christmas slash birthday Weeble. combination. Ah, well. There what's he doing again? Move it. Move it. I am with you there, my brother. Um, <laughs> we, I am also a Christmas child, 27th of December. I also use the uh, ploy of a Christmas slash birthday present there. And you double works. up on the funds. Yeah. Get I got mega Commodore 64 with a colour TV once. I got a VCR and something else. You can do it. You can go right. Oh, but mum, oh, I really want this. Oh, but you can't. Oh, but ah, oh, I'll have it for Christmas and birthday. Very Boom. nice. Done. There you go. Lots. In the bag. Then you have to wait all year round. Which is a bit else. of a pain. Big presents. And last but no means least, El Roberto. El Roberto, who's been a big fan, a big loyal follower of Old Gold Tech for uh, many months, and his best. Christmas toy was uh, not very retro techy, but it was Lego and Playmobil. Lego is brilliant. Lego and Playmobil was equally brilliant. Playmobil was men that could bend over, hinged at the waist, right. and you, you get their you got uh, elements from their world. So like a plane in an airport. I had the plane in the airport. Lego was brilliant because you could have different types of Lego, right? Yeah, well, yeah. You graduate up from Duplo, which was the bigger one, where you go, die, put that down, and then you'd work up. Is that what you said? Like, yeah. Then you woke up. Yeah. You couldn't get it wrong, really. No. And then you'd um, you'd build up things uh, with Duplo, but it didn't have like the intricate parts. And then you'd move up to Lego. Yes. Then from Lego, you'd move up to uh, Technic Lego, which had motors in it and stuff. Uh -huh. And you didn't want to lose a part of a Technic Lego kit because you would be in trouble. That would because be it. it would be, always be the part that either was Made them essential for the motor to work or the axle or something. But Not yeah, good. but some of the Lego now is mental. I know, I know. And, and Lego is, is, is superb. So, thank you for all your tweets at Christmas. Sorry it's a bit late, but you know why it's a bit late. Remember, you're still wasting your time. Now it's time for an old gold tech rewind. Hello and welcome to Old Gold Tech News with me, Nick Syntax. News just in 41% of people have never recycled an electrical item. Three quarters of us admit to having at least one old or unused electrical item in our house, with one in ten hoarding five or more of these items. 38% of us have at least one electrical item from the last decade stored in our homes, unused. A third of us, 30%, say we recycle our broken small electricals, but a further third of us say we throw them out with the rest of the rubbish. The world can't take this abuse. Please, please, think of the pandas. An unbelievable third of people say they don't know where to take electricals to be recycled. This is something we can help you with here at Old Gold Tech News as we go to roving reporter Neil somewhere behind a bin. Oh, hello. This 
is an electrical recycling waste bin. And what a lovely colour it is. This is one of the first of these types of bins here in the UK. But local authorities up and down the country will gladly take in your unwanted electrical items. To find out more information, go to RecycleNow.com. Neil! Yeah? What about this? Yes! What about this? Yes! What about this? Uh, no! So, let's talk about what we're going to be doing in the next year. First of all, we are going to be going to the Bletchley Museum. Uh, the Bletchley Museum, to people around the world, is yes. where World War II was essentially won. Because it's where they cracked the German code. And, yes. you, and on that show, we've already been to Recce, the location, ages ago. Mm. You'll see this thing called Colossus, which was the biggest computer I've ever seen. Well, Colossus was used to crack some of the German codes in the Second World War. And the museum is uh, housing that big computer now. And there's a gentleman there that actually rebuilt it with his fur hands over a number of years to showcase this computer and to show everybody you know, what was, uh, what was done in the Second World War. So we'll be doing a, a show directly from there. We're going to be interviewing the gentleman that actually rebuilt Colossus and take a look around the museum. And if you're in the area or if you want to go on the website, we'll put a link onto where you can find it. I'm really excited about that show because it's a bit of a geeky show, but uh, very interesting. Now, this is the postponed Christmas special, obviously, yes. but in a few months' time, mm -hmm. round four or five, it will be time for the Halloween show again. Yes. And Key Teeth Phantom and MS Dust Monk will be making a return. We've phoned their agents. They are on their way back. Yeah, they are ready. To do this again. So more tech horrors will be coming up there. We're also doing a... It's almost a sign-off to gaming, isn't it? Because we've, yeah. we've done that a lot now. We have. Yeah, sorry, like, retro gamers, but we've yeah, done a lot of games. There's also like social gamer. That's his realm. So exactly. We're going to do a round table sort of event where we're going to have old seasoned gamers, seasoned with black pepper and Spices. ground up circuit Paprika. boards or whatever, they're going to come and talk about um, their gaming experiences. It's going to be like a, we're going to try and shoot it in quite a cool, stylish way. It's going to be a gaming round table. Everything we do is not really that normal or typical, so that should be quite special. We're also looking at something weird like food technology. Yes, kitchen tech. So we're going to be looking at all these gadgets and devices that have expanded or even decreased your waistline and making fast food a thing of beauty for the home. So uh, that's going to be featured very soon. Also we're going to be doing a couple of live shows that we're going to be able to hopefully try and stream live to get you guys involved so you can tweet us live and you can send us clips and, and all kinds of fun stuff. And we do want you to send us your clips of videos, audio, anything you like that relates to retro technology. Join the Facebook page. page. Yes. Join the page. Yeah, one quick thing about that. So we did have a Facebook group that we set up a few months ago, but because of the constraints of the group, we decided to dissolve that. It was like a steamy window and you were looking in. Exactly, but really there was not much contribution or people couldn't sort of make uh, really comments and it was a closed group. So what we've decided to do is we've opened it up now to a Facebook page and I know that some of you have already been on there and made comments. The group's gonna be defunct in, well, by the Ooh. time you watch this show. <laughs> So we encourage you to go to the Facebook page, which is going to be shown here. And we encourage you to sign up, make comments, send information, and showcase yeah, your stuff. You don't think we're not going to... We want all your stuff to be on there as well. Exactly. Example of this is a guy who is on our tweet list mm -hmm. sent me a message saying, can you feature my new retro game that I'm going to put on Apple's uh, App Store? And yeah. I said, yeah, of course we can. And that is on there. Exactly. So it's not just about us. Send us your stuff. We want to showcase you what you do on our Facebook page. It goes to Twitter and everything else. And you can find all the lovely stuff under here in our lower thirds in a second. Before we go. Yes, before we um, go. I'd just like to ask you a question. What should have been your highlight maybe of the first year? We could almost say this is the first series of Old Gold Tech. So this yeah. new one will be the second series. Yeah, I think. So what's your favourite moment? Well, um, my favourite moment was um, filming the... Um, portable music player show, I think. Really? One where I got run over, um, thanks to Nick, uh, driving like a, an erratic madman. That was probably my favourite. For me, I think it probably has to be the C5 show. Ah, yeah. Because if you look at the iTunes review for that show, someone went out there and started to research 
getting a C5. Exactly. Now that's cool. If someone's watched our show and thought, no way, I want one of those, and they've gone and got one, that's made my day. Also driving that one that went 60 miles an hour was a buzz because I'm a bit of a petrol head, so that was really cool. And uh, check out the show if you haven't seen it, uh, and the great show from C5 Alive. One more thing before we go, I know I'll keep doing this, we have a new addition to the team, Uh, his name is uh, Rob, and he's a camera person. He's not here today, uh, unfortunately, but he is uh, around, and uh, he will be joining us on some location shoots, and uh, Rob has been responsible for some great uh, shots on the C5 Alive show as well, and we couldn't do without him. So You'll big never up to you. see him and he won't ever exist. He won't exist. He's a, he's a bit Some of a... Some will think he doesn't. He's a bit of a dark horse. He yeah. just disappears. But he is around, trust me. And uh, he'll be filming some more stuff for us very soon. Yeah. Anyway. So that was the postponed, almost irrelevant, what was the point in really spending most of my time downloading that and watching it, old Gold Tech Christmas special show. Exactly. Once again, thanks for everybody who's been following us, tweeting and joined our Facebook page. We'll see you very soon with a very special new show coming up and we'll talk to you again. Join the page. Join the page.